The Medieval Organ, Part 3 Early Medieval Organs Historical references of early medieval organs should be taken with caution as many only mention the Latin word organum, which is a generic term referring to any instrument that accompanies music. The reappearance of the organ in Western Europe in the form of detailed documentary evidence, is commonly considered to be a diplomatic secular gift by Constantine of Byzantium to Pepin III of France in current era 757. However, Aldhelm, the Bishop of Sherborne, England, recorded that an organ was installed in 690 at Malmesbury Abbey. Historical accounts document that the use of the organ was common in secular entertainment, accompanying dance and song, but that Christianity was slow to adopt the instrument. Although slow, some records do suggest that the church had an early interest with the organ, with monastic students being taught how to play the instrument at Clogger in Northern Ireland and Reichenau Abbey in Germany between the years of 814 and 825. Early references of church organs suggest that they had little involvement with monastic liturgy and their loud sounds were used more to accompany the bells during feast days and ceremonies. Saint Jerome refers to an organ at Jerusalem consisting of 12 bronze pipes, a large wind chest and two massive elephant skin bellows and could be heard from the Mount of Olives. At Malmesbury Abbey, England, a larger church organ was installed in 988, consisting of 400 pipes, 12 bellows, which were pumped by 70 men, and key sliders that were operated by two players. In 990, at Winchester Cathedral, Monk Wolfstan records the construction of an organ with 26 bellows, 400 pipes that played 40 notes spread over 20 key levers. Each lever would have been depressed with a fist or hand, leading organ players of this type to be known as pulsator organorum, meaning striker of the organ. A contemporary poem of the Winchester organ was recorded at the time. Like thunder the iron tones batter the ear, drowning out all other sound. Such are its echoes everywhere, that hands cover ears, and no one dares draw near, to approach this roaring mass of tone, the noise rings out about the town, and its fame throughout the land. Winchester Cathedral at this time was small, and would not have been able to accommodate such a large church organ, so it has been suggested that during this period, large instruments were attached to churches on the outside. Historical records also indicate that positive organs used by the churches were positioned in the West End, away from the altar, which also suggests they did not accompany the liturgy at this time. The earliest known organ tablature is the Winchester Troper, dating to 996 to 1006, which has several proses appearing with the organ notations as a supplement to the neume. The organ notation was a later system particularly associated with the play of the organ. The earliest depiction of an organ from England is illustrated in the 1000 to 1025 Utrecht Psalter, which depicts the organ hanging from a tree and comprising of a chest and seven graduated lengths of pipes. The next video discussed how the organ progressed in England during the medieval period. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Simple Archaeology 